Even all praise unto Yahweh, Shemashah, Bashim, Koha, Kodash, Adabo, and as unto the apostles of Great Millstone. And all the shit brothers that be pushing this truth in, uh, in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I'm the Baba Abadi, I'm coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh, Shemashah, Bashim, Koha, Kodash. Give no praise unto Yahweh, Shemashah, Bashim, Koha, Kodash. There's going to be a, a quick video, man. And in this video, what I wanted to do. <clears throat> It's touched on the hypocrisy of the red Hebrew eating my Esau. And this um, clearly can be seen on this article. And we can see from this article too where this whole thing is going. Um, what the elite banking families are planning. And it's through the hand of the Heavenly Father because when we read the book of Mark, the 13th chapter, as we've done in so many different videos up to this point, we can see that there's going to be a famine. Within the earth There's going to be a time that's known as the time of Jacob's trouble There's going to be a, a time that's known as the hour of temptation That is to say Things are going to get so bad out here Esau's going to give people a solution But that solution is the not one That's the righteous option The righteous option is going to be To give, give up everything And step out on faith Okay so From this article we can see The narrative that's being painted out here One of war one of hunger and one of adding fuel to the fire. I mean, quite literally. So they're suggesting here that they should send weapons to the Ukraine to prevent world hunger. Now, last time I checked, if you was trying to stop a situation that's going to be bad, then the one thing that you don't send is anything that's going to make that situation worse because as they so-called arm um, these ukrainians which especially the british publics but the, the public are so stupid that they actually think that that's going to be a, a a war effort no that's going to make things worse and we pray for that we pray that they're going to send them weapons man because the, the russians are going to have to step up big and hard and there you go the, the harvest is going to be is, is, is going to be basically non-existent man that's why, you know, I can kind of see a situation like that because we know the famine's going to come. We know the famine's going to come. And you thinking that you're going to send what? Some aircraft, anti-aircraft missiles or you're going to send something that's going to make the situation better. That ain't going to make the situation better. That's going to add more fuel to the fire. But this is what they want, man. They want to break the whole global distribution system. They want to break the food the food industry down. That's why prices of food is going up crazy. Access to food is is becoming irregular. It was a time you could just get anything any any time at a good price. That's 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 a time of the past. For the last two years, that's a thing of the past. And notice, notice the same problems are happening. Okay, here it is. You had the you had the the, the vid, and now you got the war. Right, the, the never ending war, as if to say Russia is just some <laughs> some tiny country somewhere. Right, fighting. Like these are some 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 regional conflicts, like this is you no. Know, Amalek and and um, and Palestinians, we're talking about a major major superpower, and they're not able to fight to fend off Ukraine. What, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? For weeks and weeks and weeks, Russia cannot fend off the Ukrainian like dudes in <laughs> dudes in sweats, sweatpants, and they got an AK. They're talking about some red, what they call insurgents, which are just regular civilians <laughs> armed. And you're telling me the Russian, the Russian, the mighty Russian Empire, okay, the mighty Russian Edomite can't take down some Ukrainians, some goat herders, and farmers with pit, pitchforks that they put up such a strong resistance that the Russians can't take them down. Man, come on, man. That's madness. This is a setup. This is a setup, okay? And it's a setup. To make everybody's life more difficult. And to have this CHIP out here, man. To have it to where there's no food. Here's the food. Uh-uh. Can't just grab that, mate. Take the CHIP. Increasing the weapon supplies is purportedly needed to avert the global food famine. I mean, like, yo. What retard? <laughs> what retard would think, okay... Here's a location where there's food. This is the army that they're fighting up against. Let's arm them. That's going to make the situation better. Okay? 
Supplying Ukraine with more effective weaponry amid the ongoing conflict with Russia is essential to avoid a supposed... No, no, there's no supposed, man. The, the scripture says there's going to be a global famine. That's coming. There's no two ways about it. There's no two ways about it. And it's come from the, the German agricultural minister. Okay, so they're giving you a narrative. And people will read this and they'll eat it right up, man. They'll eat this nonsense right up. But guess what, man? They want you to eat it up. They want you to be, you know, in, in that state of anxiety. So when they present you with a with a so-called uh, a solution, you're going to eat that solution. So that's all I'm going to say on this. I'm going to say, oh, praise Dante, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say,